Awesome. Last time we finished with creating a hero section. In this bit, we will be focusing on creating a two another static parts. First one will be our services and the second one will be our mission. And again, we will be using a lot of the grid and we will be following the grid structure which I created in the design. So we have the hero section and now we want to create the services section. So this section, as we know, uh, have a little violet background, which is this color. So we will call this one a, uh, we can put it actually, or maybe not. We will put it here, violet section. We will put it like this, content, and we will have this one as another grid. This time we won't use uh, the same grid, obviously. We will use this one. We will have, actually, yeah, we will have grab, we will have gaps. We will have four columns, no, three, three columns. And the gaps are 30. Gaps are 30 pixels. Rows are non-existing non in this grid. Great. We will paste their heading, change it to heading two. We will check heading two. We will know by this uh, 52, 64 dark and that's about it we now have headline 2 we have the all the fun we provide all the fun we provide we will check what's the spacing here we know it's 120 from the side and here it's 60 we can possibly uh, do the grid so we don't have to place the spacing on the, on the heading 2. And we want to do a, another wrap of the content so we can do the spacing. And it's 120 and 120. So it follows the same, same logic here. Let me just check this. Yes, so it's 100. It's actually 100. Because the font is adding under the 20. Cool. So we have the grid now of the services. We will paste there a one image. The first one. Great. HDPI. Uh, we will put here a div block so we can wrap the wrap the image and the basically the whole content around it. Uh, we will have a community. Heading three. We will have to style it again, obviously. So it's Bisbee, bold. And now we don't know the sizes, 22 and 32. 22 and 32. We will do full black. And we have it. So community. Now we need to check what's the margin from here. It's 26. So we will do 25. 25 seems a lot because the heading is adding 20. So we will do five. Great. And now we will add the paragraph. Finally, we can use the styling, which we did at the first bit, uh, which will be a paragraph. And the community is doing 13 pixels margin on this one. And it's adding 10, so we can do 15. Yes, that looks good. And now, uh, since these two, these two are uh, lacking of a, the one, one sentence here, or the one line, we will have to do a uh, flexbox, which will be expanding uh, 
with the other ones so the link is uh, at the bottom so we need to prep this one separately which we will do like this so we have this one we will wrap the other place the other stuff into a other div block we will put this div block into a flexbox vertical and justify on the space between we will put this one as a uh, service wrap we will put another div block into that that can be actually a link, link box that's very true link block not link box uh, we will put there a uh, text block and we will put there the arrow image so we have it like this we will put this one as IDPI awesome we will put this one as a become member become member and the arrow itself will have 12 pixels margin yes this one will we will put it again as a flexbox a lot of the stuff is flexbox here so yeah that's the easiest way how to do most of the most of the stuff we will remove the the line which is not removing it removes like this so we don't need to do it here and this one was again this b bold uh this one was 14 14 and 22 it seems to be again boldish but it's not cool we have a 14 and 22 this b this color and that's about it so this one is a text link text text link copy and this one is a link arrow so we have it like this now we want to do at least some margin uh some margin which is 20. we want to do 20 pixels from the or actually only 10 because the paragraph again itself is adding 10 and we have it like this great div block 3 sounds weird we will put it as a uh, service item wrap awesome service wrap service wrap service wrap and now if we will put the text here Oh, and now it is aligning. That seems strange. How is that possible? Did we do something differently? Is one 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 four oh? Hmm. Who knows? Well, thanks to that, I couldn't really demonstrate what the issue is. But. We at least don't have any issues with uh, with the content. Find mentor. Need advice. Mentors. Internships. And we will change this image to service uh, cover image. We will replace mentors with uh, with the correct image. We will remove the internships, and we're there. And the link block doesn't add any margin, so we are good to go. So we have services now. Div block two needs to be a uh, services uh, wrap. Services rep, service rep makes sense. Slightly more confusing, but I guess it makes sense. Cool. 
we want to now add uh, another section which will be a about us and our mission so we will have another image here we have 120 so we will start with the image we will again use a uh, four columns grid with 30 pixels uh, spacing like we did here so we can actually follow the same uh, logic all around uh, we will do columns 30 no er no rows uh, we will do four columns like this we could have possibly use rows this time with 80 or 60 yeah we can do that so let me change that 60 rows second row and it looks like this we will again add 120 pixels here 120 pixels there and let's figure it out if that's gonna help we will add we will change this one to about us uh, grid and now we will paste there the image which is this one idpi and we want to have it on three column spans great it's actually aligned with eight right that makes sense because the one on top of it are aligned yep let me check if that's correct and it is awesome so we have the image and then we will paste there another div which won't be here obviously it will be will be column span two two columns and the second one will be two columns as well so we have two columns we will put there the h2 which we already we already styled about us and our mission we can possibly because this one looks way better if it's like this aligned so we can put it into 290 width uh, wow we made a small mistake here we haven't styled this one on this bit this bit and here we go great seems like 290 doesn't make sense here but it has 300 we're there it adds though 20 pixels but top on the, on top and we don't want that so we will have to change this uh spacing of the rows so now it's actually 60 and the next thing is the are these three lines of a content so we want to do before you shine is a community which is the same as this one but this one won't be as a as a heading though so let's do the same styling 22 32 dark and bold but this be great awesome now we will do gray cliff which we already have so we can just paste the paragraph here uh, like this and then the last bit will be another paragraph which is more on our facebook and instagram we will do these as a links not blue ones obviously but we will do them as a, a paragraph 
link. We will do them as dark. Instagram paragraph link. Awesome. Now, for some reason, again, we have this as a bold text. We don't want that. We want this as a about us main paragraph. Paragraph. Wow. That was a that was complicated. We want to add again uh, 20 pixels margin so it's aligned with uh, with this text, and then we do 18, 18 and 18. So we can do actually 20 and. Yes, yes. About us, second paragraph. And then we have this one. Yes, all seems to be going great. We could have, though, put this one as a uh, without the div block. I don't think that's necessary. Let me check. Yes, it's not. So we have one more element out of the canvas. And we want to add the, add the small line here, six pixels again. We can use this one and just restyle it. So let's add it to the content since it's 120 pixels from there. And we can duplicate it as a divider. It won't have any margins. It will have only 100% width and one pixel height. And we have it. Awesome. In the fifth video, we will be focusing on finally creating something more dynamic. We will be using the first collection. We will be trying to create the first part of the blog, which we call our stories. Don't forget that I'm always here. Uh, feel free to reach out in comments if you run into any issues. And if you like these videos and want to see more of these, uh, please reach out as well and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. See you in a fifth video.